Hi guys, Android Andy here. You may have seen some of the videos to do with the Nexus 4 and Android Jelly Bean 4.2 with, uh, with the new keyboard. Well, I can tell you, the new keyboard is available for pretty much any device. And here it is. Um, this is me testing the new Android keyboard. That worked pretty well. Um, oh, interestingly, or maybe it's depending what I'm in. I've got the comma down here at the bottom left now. Right, let's come back and let's go into Google Plus, for example. Yeah, and the comma's gone for the speech. So I guess because the speech button was at the side of the search bar, it knew. So now I've got the microphone instead of the comma. Son of a bee. Son of the Bee microphone instead of the Kama Sutra. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know why it thinks I would want to say that. I've never said such a thing. Um, don't, come on, don't you worry. So, we have to hold generally, hmm, it seems, and that might have it, arms. It's probably me trying to be too fast, to be honest. Let's try that again. I get a bit carried away at times with these things. Generally, yeah, if I, if I pay a bit more attention to where I'm doing my thumb, I, I get a tendency of just drawing what I think it should be and expecting it to work it out. Generally, it seems pretty good. Can it tell put from out? And it, it can. Um, as you type, I didn't get the hours, longer. So I like how it's sort of it's showing you what it's thinking it is. I mean, I, personally, if I'm swiping quick enough, I'm not really going to have time to watch, I don't think, automatic. So I suppose then I could see it sort of makes it like go, but still has me going quite slow. Um, that's it really, it's only a very quick video just to let you know that it's, it's out there, you can get it. I'll put a link in the video comments to the XDA thread where you can get the latest version of it. And it literally is as simple as, you know, I'll, I'll download it to my computer into my Dropbox folder, I went to Dropbox on my phone and installed it. Then I just selected it as the main, as the default keyboard, and off I went. It's as simple as that, you don't need to have root. I'm running stock, stock Jelly Bean on my S3 here. So you don't need root to run it. And that's the Android keyboard from version 4.2. So there you go. Oh, it's a generally it's centers good, so it's not perfect, but oh, and that is one I believe. So yeah, it doesn't give me any options to change. You would want normally when you tap on a word, it's already done for it to give you the sort of different options there. But it doesn't yet, so you have to kind of double tap it and redo the word. It's not a major problem, but hopefully that'll get improved upon or maybe I missed them in the settings but I have got prediction on and everything. So there you go. The keyboard from Android 4.2. I'm Android Andy. See you again soon.